Um, my name is uh, Dr. Stuart Downward from the School of Geography, Geology and the Environment. Um, I'm a lecturer in the school. My own personal area is in water resources management. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the school and about our courses, and a little bit about being a student um, in our courses at the university. Uh, the School of Geography, Geology and the Environment is an umbrella for uh, five different subject areas. And those areas are geography, geology, hazards and disaster management, GIS, and environmental science and sustainable development. And what unites us all is really an appreciation of the study of the Earth, understanding how the Earth operates and the interaction of different physical, human, social, political systems. Let me tell you something about being a student in the School of Geography, Geology and Environment. Our world is all around us, and so there's no better way to learn than to get out into the field and to learn firsthand from that world around us. But what's important is that we can map those experiences onto the theoretical knowledge and the skills knowledge that we acquire through our lectures and our practicals as well. And so over the duration of your course, you'll have exposure to a number of different learning methods and different uh, ways of trying to acquire information, to process information, and to try and synthesize that information. Our courses run for three years, with the exception of our Environment and Sustainable Development courses, where in fact you can take an optional sandwich year between your second and third year. So you have the ability, if you want, on those courses to take a year out and to study in the workplace, working essentially um, as an employee of a company, and then coming back with that knowledge into your final year. The learning experience through the three years is very incremental. The first year is very much a platform to understand the basics, the fundamentals of how our Earth operates in your particular subject discipline. And in the third year, you can then begin to really apply that knowledge, to think about how that knowledge of the world around us then can be applied in a real-world setting. And of course, if you can then blend that with examples from field work and practical work that you will do, that's going to give you a fantastic skill set that's going to prepare you for your chosen careers. You'll also learn in different ways. Some of the ways you will learn will be formal teaching, that's to say in a, in a lecture theatre, learning from the lecturer. And you'll also undertake a, an independent research project. You'll, you'll start this at the end of your second year. In fact, we'll train you through your second year in, in the process of how to undertake independent research. And then you'll work with us over the summer between your second and third year into your third year, producing your final dissertation that you'll submit around Easter of your last year. And this is fantastic because this really gives you the opportunity to choose an area of personal interest to specialise in, to develop the data, to process that data and to produce a fantastic report that you can be really proud of. Our courses are very, very skills rich. We believe that an employer would want to see a graduate from our school coming to their coming to a particular job with a skill set that they can use. We use a range of different fieldwork environments, and let's start with our local environment in the UK. We're in London, we're on the edge of London, and so we've got the best of both worlds. We've got the city on one side, and we can get everything that the city has, so we can go and we can explore patterns of urbanisation and development. But equally, we can go to the South Downs, to the North Downs on our doorstep, and we can explore our local environments, the rocks, the geology, the weald and anticline, the rivers that flow through that landscape. Let's think where your degree is going to take you. And a lot of people ask me, what do graduates from your School of Geography, Geology and the Environment actually do and go on to do? Well, it depends very much on the subject area you've studied. As a geologist, clearly the different areas of geological work that are open to you. As a geographer, you've got a range of skill sets, and some of you may have specialised in physical or some are in human geography. So anything from town planning to environmental management, these are often jobs where we find our graduates now in employment. As a GIS student, you've got a fantastic range of skills, technical skills, which are highly valuable in the workplace. As a hazards and disaster management student, you've got very specific skills, and many of these students are targeting specific jobs in disaster management teams. And as an environment or a sustainable development student, clearly every day there's something about the environment in the news, and you can imagine the way in which environmental skills, 
sets that you have as a graduate are really, really valued in the workplace today. So your opportunities for employment are absolutely fantastic at the moment. I couldn't think of a better time to study in our school. Hi, my name's Harriet and I'm in my second year studying geography here. I chose my course here at Kingston um, because geography was a subject I'd always really enjoyed at school. I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do as a career, so speaking to my teachers and career advisors, I decided to carry on with something that I really loved. And it's such a broad subject that it's opened up so many doors for me as well whilst I've been here. What's unique about the course here at Kingston is we get to go on quite a few field trips um, to lots of different places. We're off to Malta soon. And then next year in our third year we've got the options to go to places like Morocco or South Africa and some of our students are off to Australia as well. But what I enjoy most about the course here is that there's a broad range of topics to choose from to study. So whether you're more interested in physical geography or human geography, you can pick um, modules that relate to either of those. Or if you want to mix it up you can do a bit of both and your degree programme works out from there depending on what modules you want to choose and what subjects you want to study. There's a lot of um, coursework assessment in our field, um, we do exams as well um, and then there's also some practicals and fieldwork assessments as well where we go out in the field and actually do some work and write, have to write reports and things like that. One of the biggest challenges of when I came to Kingston was um, writing my first essay. I'd been out of um, school for a year, I've taken a year out before coming to university. So when my first essay was set, that was a big challenge to get back into writing that. Um, but there was lots of help speaking to tutors and the Academic Skills Centre and they really helped me out to get back on track and really do well with it.